More witnesses will take the stand for the defense in the Derek Chauvin trial today. Six people testified for the defense as it began presenting its case yesterday. On the stand, the longest, Barry Broad, a use of force expert, who said Derek Chauvin's actions were reasonable during that fatal encounter with George Floyd. I felt that Derek Chauvin was justified and was acting with objective reasonableness following Minneapolis Police Department policy and current standards of law enforcement. His testimony contradicts numerous experts and officers called by the prosecution. The state countered as Broad tried to argue Floyd was resisting while he was on the ground. What part of this is not compliant? So I see his arm position in the picture that's posted. Right. That, you know, a compliant person would have both their hands in the small of their back and just be resting comfortably versus like he's still moving around. Did you say resting comfortably? Or laying comfortably? Resting comfortably on the pavement. Yes. Jason is our leading our trial coverage on CBSN Minnesota. And that moment during the cross examination, uh, Jason, that was something. Well, Heather and Shayla, we talked about that with our legal analyst Joe Tamburino after it happened on CBSN Minnesota yesterday. And it is one of those moments, Joe said, that when your expert uh, uses certain words, they resonate with the jury. Those words count. And by using that phrase, resting comfortably, uh, there also was a point where he was talking about the difference between struggling with officers and writhing on the ground. And Barry Broad said that he couldn't really tell the difference. And Joe points out, nobody believes that, right? So when you lose your credibility there, and when you use loaded language like resting comfortably when you're handcuffed against a pavement trying to breathe, that is something that a jury will look at. And some analysts yesterday said the defense actually harmed their case more than helped it with the testimony mm -hmm. abroad. And now that we've heard the use of force aspect of this uh, testimony, next we're going to start hearing from the medical side of things, right? Yeah, Shayla, today we expect to hear from a toxicologist from Florida who will be testifying. And, and, and that medical cause of death really is the crux of the defense here, where the state is saying it was uh, a drug overdose or a heart attack. And so we will uh, watch for that testimony today. Yeah, Jason, we know some motions coming through court this morning. Uh, Judge Peter Cahill denied the defense motion for acquittal. I mean, is that pretty standard in a case like this? Very standard. In a criminal case, a defense attorney has the right under Minnesota law to call for an acquittal. Uh, and it happens every time where the defense attorney says, oh, the state hasn't proved their case. Uh, Eric Nelson laid out uh, his main argument was that uh, there were conflicting uh, views from testimony on the use of force from the state's experts. But the judge has to look at things in the light most favorable to the state. That's the standard. And so mm. that was denied. We also have Maurice Hall in court just uh, minutes ago, mm. and he was invoking his Fifth Amendment uh, right against self-incrimination. The judge actually called Maurice Hall up to uh, the podium where the attorneys usually stand and asked him, are you sure it's your right? You can invoke the fifth. And Maurice Hall said he would because he was fearful of mm. criminal charges coming against him. And the judge ruled that that was fine. And so Maurice Hall will not testify. And again, uh, Maurice Hall was also in that vehicle with George Floyd the day that uh, he was arrested. Yes, and, and the limited testimony they were trying to get from him was, uh, well, there were two things they were trying to get. One, what were they doing in that SUV? Uh, did George Floyd fall asleep? And we heard from Shawanda Hill yesterday, the other woman who was in the car, that George Floyd did fall asleep in that SUV. Uh, the other thing they were looking for was uh, information on the origin of the drugs. Uh, did uh, Maurice Hall give drugs or sell drugs to George Floyd. And of course, that is uh, a, a question that uh, Maurice Hall was not going to answer. All right, Jason, thank you. You can watch live coverage of the trial with Jason all day on CBSN Minnesota. Just use your phone's camera to scan this QR code and that will help you download our app and follow along.